Hi guys, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I've got a tech tip for you regarding heat shrink tube. Many people don't realize this, but there are several different types of heat shrink tube. You have a standard heat shrink tube, and then there's a thicker variety called dual layer heat shrink tube or marine grade heat shrink tube. And the difference is when you heat up the shrink tube, yes, they both will shrink down to the new size, but it at the same time, this one has an adhesive that's coating the inside. So when you heat it up, not only does it stick the two pieces together in a watertight bond, but it also creates a more sturdy junction. And to demonstrate that, I've got a couple sections of electrical cord here. Now I understand I'm not putting them together, but I'm going to show you the strength of the heat shrink tube. And you can use this for things like cord strain relief. I've done this personally to several different hand controllers and foot controllers. I think I have one around here someplace. But you put the shrink tube on and then you shove it over the broken strain relief and then when you heat it up it creates an all new strain relief and it's a better one than, than OEM. So what I've got is a couple sections of uh, regular power cord and I'm going to go ahead and take my regular heat shrink tube. These are the same size, 3 8 You can see it's very flexible, very soft compared to the dual layer. I'm going to take my single layer, shove it on there, and the end of my wire is right here, so it's about halfway. Take my other end of my wire, shove it in the other half of the way. And now, take my heat gun and shrink it down. Now both types of heat shrink tube are very tolerant to high temperatures. And I will go ahead and heat them up at 300 degrees C. Alright, I'm going to make sure that I get a nice tight fit. Make sure it's shrunk all the way around on all sides. Okay, I'm going to leave this wire over here on the side to cool. While I do the dual layer shrink tube. I'll put one end halfway on, the other end halfway on, and I'll shrink this one down. Now dual layer shrink tube often takes a higher temperature or longer exposure, but the bond you get and the finished look is second to none. Not only that, but it creates a waterproof junction. So you can use this on things that are going to be in a wet location, like a foot control or a hand pendant or even a power cord strain relief. So the way to tell if your dual layer shrink tube is sufficiently heated is when you see a little bit of glue come out at the two ends. Oh my gosh. Guys, this way you don't have a cluttered desk. Okay. So the way to tell if your dual layer shrink tube is heated up sufficiently when you see a little bit of glue come out near the ends, the dual layer will cool and it will become much stiffer than it is right now. So I'm going to let that cool down. Now you can see with the single layer shrink tube, it creates a flaccid bond and I bet you I can pull this out. See? Pulled right out. No problem. That was an expensive shrink tube too. I think that one was 3M. But here's the dual layer. It's not even cooled down yet so it's still kind of weak. You see when I pull on it, the glue actually adheres to the cord so it creates an excellent strain relief at the same time that it, it seals it, makes it watertight. You can see the shrink tube that I use. Here's the 3M generic black or the cheaper Harbor Freight marine grade dual layer shrink tube. I have cases of this stuff and I use it very consistently. Provides an excellent finish, good results, and it's economical. Thanks for watching guys today's tech tip. Try and use dual layer or marine grade shrink tube on everything you do. It'll create a better finish and you'll leave with a better final product.